So the holidays are finally over. All of your relatives are headed back home and you completely screwed up your keto diet over the holidays. That's okay, don't worry. I'm gonna give you seven simple steps in this video, plus bonus step at the end to get right back on your keto, low carb, ketovore, carnivore diet and pick up right where you left off with very minimal damage. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience, and this video is gonna tell you how to get back on the keto train. The very first step I think you should take is to get rid of all of the offending toxins currently in your home. Clean out the fridge, clean out the pantry, all those leftovers that you thought, well, I don't know, maybe I'll eat them later. Either give them to the neighbor, give them to an enemy because they're not healthy, throw them in the garbage, give them to the dog, give them to the chickens. Get rid of them, get all of it out of your house, every single bit of it, even the keto approved sweets. Get rid of all that and that way the temptation is not readily available for you to mess up on. Step two is water fast for 24 to 48 hours. Now you know you better than I know you. So 28, 24 hours may be all it takes. You may need to fast with water only for 48 hours. This is gonna burn up all the glycogen stores that you stored from all the crap that you ate. It's gonna give your body time to cleanse. You don't need to spend a penny on a, any kind of a cleanse. Don't do juice cleanses. Your liver and your kidneys will cleanse and get rid of all the toxins, both slow and fast, all the side products from the crap that you've been eating for the last few days. Your liver and your kidneys will take care of it. You don't have to spend a penny. You just need to fast with water for 24 to 48 hours and all of that crap will be out of your system and you will have burned up all the glycogen stores that you stored by eating too many carbohydrates. Number three, very important. Pay good attention to this one forgive yourself. We all did it, okay? Even I did it over the holidays. Uh, our good friend Melissa, who has makes the most wonderful keto desserts in the world, I'll put a link to her blog down in the show notes just for next Christmas, not for now. But uh, yeah, I partake in these things that I should not have touched. Uh, I'm holding about five pounds of extra fluid. I didn't gain five pounds of fat, neither did you. It's all fluid because you spiked your insulin. And so forgive yourself. Don't let any negative emotions come into your personal equation, okay? You're in good company. You, me, Nisha, everybody ate extra carbs over the holidays. It's okay. Don't feel negative. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel down on yourself, sad, depressed. None of that. None of that's necessary. And also none of it will help you. Just follow step number one very closely. Even those treats you hid in your closet, throw those away too, and forgive yourself. And tomorrow's a new day. Number four is get plenty of salt. Now, you know that I love Redmond's Real Salt. I got a link down in the show notes, but any good pure salt is gonna help you with the carbohydrate cravings and to help you not be hungry as much as you would be otherwise. Plus your body needs salt anyway. Number five, get plenty of minerals. And you know, I love the daily minerals from Keto Chow, but any good source of minerals does a great job. You need these minerals. There's a lot of research out there that shows that a lot of the cravings we have is really just your body searching for some mineral or the other. So give your body the minerals so you won't have those cravings. Number six is have high fat, high protein snacks at the ready because when you fall off the keto train and you reactivate your carbohydrate cravings, you also mess with your gut bacteria. And so you're probably gonna be snacky for three to seven days after the holidays. If you've got boiled eggs and, and bacon already in the fridge, in your purse, in the glove box, wherever you need them, then when you do have that snack attack, you can grab some boiled eggs, put some salt on them, you can grab some bacon, and you didn't just fall off the wagon again. Now, I don't want you to snack every day all through the year, but for the next three to seven days, you may need to do a little snacking with keto approved snacks. And this is not baked goods, this is boiled eggs. This is bacon, maybe some avocado. You need something that's high fat, high protein, so that you don't reactivate the carbohydrate monster. Number seven is give your body time to readjust. Your gut microbiome, all the bacteria in your gut, they shifted back towards carb lovers 
over the holidays. Now you're gonna shift them back towards loving the fat and protein of a ketogenic diet. It's gonna take three to seven days for that to happen. You're gonna to have to deplete your glycogen stores. That's gonna take a few days to happen. You may have to go through a small bout of carbohydrate withdrawal again. That's gonna take three to seven days to get that out of your system. So don't, don't just delude yourself into thinking, oh, overnight I can go back to keto and there won't be any ramifications from me eating junk over the holidays. There might be a few days of a readjustment period. That's fine perfectly safe, perfectly predictable, no big deal, you've got this. Now, bonus tip is if you're brand new to low-carb keto carnivore and you, you, you're, you don't really understand why we eat this way or, or what we should eat on this way of eating, then check out the link down in the show notes for the PhD Summit. And it's actually a, a fully contained summit that we did a few months back that has some of the leading authorities in the entire world about low carb carnivore keto diets, why you should do it, how you should do it, and why you should do it, because the why is very, very important. Once you understand the why, it makes it much easier to stick to this way of eating. I hope this video helped a lot. If it did, click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the little bell button right beside it. I'm gonna try to put out two or three, maybe even four new videos every week, starting right now and all through 2021 to help you get onto a proper human diet and stay on a proper human diet. It's vitally important for your health, the health of your family, the health of your friends. So let's make 2020 year, 2021 the year of the proper human diet. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.